Welcome to Anthony's Brick Built, and today we're going to be doing a video on Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. This set was produced by LEGO for the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones. This set is part of the Summer 2022 Wave. First up in our mini theater category, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. As you can see, we have some chest printing, some torso printing, and then some leg printing. And then we have his pilot's headgear head. Very nice, same hair job that we've had on Obi-Wan Kenobi for a little bit now. Nothing new there. And then we have his blue lightsaber. Now we have Obi-Wan Kenobi with his regular style head, and then we have his hood that he uses when he tries to infiltrate Kamino's cloning base. For the back of Obi-Wan Kenobi, we just have some creases in the back of his torso to resemble the clothing that he is wearing, and nothing really else here. It's no other printing, just all brown, nothing else. But still, probably the best Obi Wan Kenobi minifigure we've had yet. And now, next up, we have Wan T, the first ever camo known that Lego has produced. Let's get into her. All right, we have just a brand new mold for the head. We got this elongated neck. That this is all one mold, so you don't have to worry about attaching the head to the neck. All one mold. Then we have a torso with some nice new printing on it. And then we actually have a dress. This is not a normal minifig leg mold. This is just a kind of a minifig dress mold. And we'll also have some more printing on her dress. And now for the back of Wan T, we have some back torso printing. And then we have some back printing for the back of her dress. Now I really like this is because we don't really see a lot of these Legos that have all of this printing on it. I, just, I find them really darn cool how Lego is putting more design into their minifigures. And now next up and final in our minifigure category, we have R4P17. He is Obi-Wan Kenobi's droid, which served him faithfully in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. Now this minifig figure, or I should say droid, has just a regular droid mode that we've seen for forever with like over the past 20 something years. Now he has a red head, um, a red printing on his torso or body, still the same white legs, and nothing really darn new here with this, with R4P17's printing. Nothing really desirable and new, this Lego has to stick to what to work with this guy. Really great, just really great. For the back of R4P17, we just have some printing on the back of the head. Nothing else new here. The Lego is still sticking to what's worked. Alright, now the moment that you've all been waiting for. Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. Alright, here we go. On the left side, we have the brand new stud shooter piece. I like guys been using it more and more frequently with their micro fighter builds. I really like that they start putting it into this set and these other kind of smaller ship sets. I really do like that. And then we have a two by two turntable for you to put on R4P17's head. Go slide that onto there and there you go. And now next we have the radar dish at R4P17 ask for help from the Jedi Order. Up here we have a dollar two by six plate with some more printing on it. As we move up here, one of my favorite features of this set is this. Take off this top, you can put R4P17's body in here, slide it on top, and now you got the whole droid and you got the whole minifigure all in one chip. That was great. I love that Lego has done this. Slide it on more here. Go up to the front. 
I really do like how this is really darn angled all over the place on here. It gives that great interceptor feel to it. Now moving on to this side, we have a stud shooter again. We have the Republic Crest. And we have a lot of stickers on this set. I am surprised of how many stickers is on this, but I really do like the extra detail that LEGO goes into with these stickers all over the place. Really darn good. Looking at the cockpit here. As you can see inside, we just have a pretty simple um, spot to put Kenobi on, some nice decorative seat backing over here, and a one by two control plate for all you want Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. Slide this down and go to the back. And now we have just two engines in the back. Nothing entirely new here from the last Interceptor build. Getting a nice look right here. I want, my, I want a great part I like about this is the bottom. I know that's kind of weird to say, but I like the bottom of this ship. Good detail. Now we can take his lightsaber and we can put it on here. And now you can have Kenobi R4P17 and his lightsaber all in the ship. That's great, getting ready for the battle. And now we have this retractable landing gear over here. Really darn good. Nice long look there. Let's slide this back. And boom, there you have it. Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. All right, my final thoughts is that this is a great set for younger kids and for a birthday present. Really good. This set does contain 282 pieces. A good for a simple build to start people off to grow their Star Wars Armada. Great, love the minifigures, love R4P17, love the ship, great design, great everything. Now, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification video to learn when all of these great videos come out. And everyone, have a great day.